Hey guys, it's RJ99 and welcome back to episode 3 of Wandering Village. So, I have added these little huts. They are, where are they? Ow, I always lose everything. These, they're a step up from the tents. So we have them now. We've got some people researching. I added a builder one. I've only got one person there. That's just because I have a lot of the roads I need to get built. And this needs to be fixed from where it blew down in a tornado. Is the tornado still here? There it is. The thing blew it down. Ooh, people. Yes, oh, they're poisoned. But what we do have is the herbalist. Although I grew some and I'll leave it as that so I can use the people on other things because we're a bit short on people. Same with the doctor because we currently have no poisoned people. So I don't have a doctor. But once we get poisoned people, I have to remember to rehire them because once on the stream I forgot that bit and it was not good. I didn't realise I hadn't hired them until they started dying. People started dying, which is not ideal. And oh look, Ambu's waking up just in time for the video, or like the start of it. But yes, that's interesting. Oh, the scavenger mission's almost done might send it for some stone stone's always helpful oh ah let's go in that way i must be coming to a crossroads soon one of which is gonna go north that way okay helpful information for this crossroads soon food wise we're not doing that well there's only eight berries i might have to see if there's any more bushes lying around but I think I've harvested them all. Hence, I've put two people here instead of one. Do I have any more people? I've got one. I've got one more person. I might have to employ them there. Because we need food. I do not want my people to starve to death. Because, you know, that's not really ideal. To have my people starving. Ambu needs food. I have enough mushrooms, I think. Ambu kitchen. Oh no, priority. I need that. I have got loads of people hired here making the slabs. Although, I think, I thought they were all going here. Where are they all going? Okay, I'm going to investigate where my slabs are going. So that I can prioritise what buildings need to be built when. Okay, so I've picked up those villagers. So I only got two, so not ideal. And I'm gonna quickly send a party out. I had it on times four. I shouldn't have put it on times four because I've passed that now. Ideally, I'd have sent it when I was next to it. But I think I want to go this way. So I hope Ambu will go the direction I want him to go. Hopefully, he's not mad at me. But we'll see. I can hope. He is not. I've done some rearranging of this little corner because I needed to be able to fit everything in and certain things like the trebuchet and the- I forgot the ombu doctor, no. This need to fit in here and that's difficult to have space. I think if that goes there then it's near the trebuchet. And then I want another Ombu Doctor. Ah, but then I've got one gap. I guess I could put a path there. I did a little path here to go across there. I might not do that. And then bring... This could come down one. What did I put there? Decontaminator. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I think I need to get rid of these trees first. All of the ones in this little area are going to have to go and then we'll see how it looks. So I've thought about it and I've kind of... Oh, I should disable these. I don't want them to start um, getting resources allocated. These I can't because they've got materials on. There we go, quickly lock it once they've moved these wood come on move it i prioritized it so they should go for it next then i can lock it 
because I got other things I want the materials to go to first. But I built a little farm there so that I could box it in. So I was thinking what this is an awkward shape with that. And farm is quite a useful thing for awkward shapes because I can just alloc you allocate that on a square by square basis. So that works. There we go. I can lock that one. Because and that works perfectly because this one is out of farm the farm's range. I tried to place it mostly on where it's greyed out. You got the red dots because it's mud, not grass. So all here can be allocated to the farm and hopefully that will also help with our little food issue and the fact we've got like three berries and this is maxed out so hopefully that will help with that and i think we're gonna need more doctors i have one person that's not got a job they can be a doctor because we got a few poison people oh are they still out okay they're still out at the moment okay but that looks badly poisoned the darker color means badly poisoned so we do not want to lose villagers when they don't have that many villagers in the first place it's not ideal there's some berries that would be good because we need food oh we've entered a desert i didn't even look which way we went oh yay my people are back okay let's go send them to the settlement then i'm gonna need both of them the sand i mean i can't do anything with it yet i don't have a sand furnace so I might just leave it for now. Ah, I've passed that and they're getting closer. Oh well, hopefully I'll get someone from the settlement. But who knows. I put a little storage thing there and I'm thinking I could put the pantry, not the pantry, the market stall food thing there. I think it will fit, if I'm remembering right. Um, I hope. So I'm going to put some path that way. But yeah, I think this will just like box it in nicely. How are they doing that faster? Oh, because that's not, that's not cut planks. Why are they go? It just feels like they're going so slow. And I need this so I can get Anbu's food because he's getting hungry. He's getting very hungry. So that is needed. And then I need the trebuchet after that. And because I moved it, I'm going to have to reprioritize to that. This is going to have to go down to priority one, because like the lowest. Because I need that feeding system set up. I need that, then that. So that I can make the food, and then I can actually throw it so he catches it. But that's, that needs more wood. And that's the same. So maybe once I get some more wood, I'll take someone away from the stone and put them in the wood. Maybe. Because that's what I need more of. That could be something. Okay, so. Uh, I got bread. Okay, I'll take bread. Ooh, that sounds pretty close a people and they're on the path they're not gonna walk off so that's good and i'm just gonna go to sleep in a minute which means these i should be able to go to and have time while he's asleep so that works out nicely all right so this is where we are on the map at the moment we're going that way we're heading towards the green which is good because then i can actually use the farm that i built i can't actually use it in the desert because i don't have desert crops unlocked yet which is a bit of a problem um, there's a sleep bit there so we're probably going to sleep there I can get some stone while we're there the sand I've got a little bit of but we don't need too much here maybe we'll get some more herbs and here maybe some people want more food that would be good so we're getting moving there we also have the sawmill and we're researching the quarry so that is how we get this and where's the stone ones? Where's the stone ones? Oh my god, I don't have any. Wait, 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 wait. I'm researching the- oh, there they are, there they are. 
I was gonna say, I don't have any. I'm researching the quarry for nothing. Because I don't need it if I don't have any. But I do. So you just put them next to it and you can harvest. So we're gonna get rid of this one so that then I can get rid of this to extend that. So I'm gonna go and put these on a bit of a priority so they get harvested first. We have three idle people, a whole three. And I did take some off harvester, so I'll put them back. I did put more people in here, but we're not getting... Oh! I'm an idiot. That's unlock. No wonder it's not getting built. It's unlock. I was like, I wondered why the stone came over here and not over there, and that kept being zero. It was on lock. Oops. Oh well, at least it was going to help with things, because I then put them on priority. Well, they should get building that now, that that's there. Ooh, we have, that came back. Alright, go get me more stone. I don't have loads of stone. This, priority one? I have quite a few priority ones. I don't have a priority two. Maybe put the Ombu Doctor on two, the Decontaminator on one, the hut might as well, it's almost built, it's almost there, so it might as well go on one, and then this can go on one priority, because it's not that high a priority. What have we got? Warehouse and the compost heap. If I just get rid of the highlighted bits. So... Yes, there we go, that's the plan. Get more people, get the things built, get things harvested, and explore and get as much resources. No, someone starved. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's not good, someone starved. This is producing as much as I can. Food production is a priority. Right, berry bushes. Ah, uh, we need to get into the new biome so I can use this. Ah. So that's it for this episode and soon on my Twitch world I'm going to be hitting 200 villagers even though it's expert. I don't know how. So I'll probably have a clip from a Twitch stream soon in one of these episodes because I will hit that milestone in that one most likely. So that's it for episode 3 and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!